Good day everyone, uh, my name is Anthony Edmond John from App Gamers and today I want to I want to show you and put you through on how to have your own customizable to have your own customizable font bank or have your own customizable fonts on the photo editing arm um, phone tool. Yeah, I'm going to show you a, a little bit on how to also use um, photo, um, phone tool to edit um, to edit um, um, to edit your photos to to get to edit graphics to do nice graphic designs. Yes. So um, the part one of our, of this video would basically dwell on how to have your own customized crazy nice and awesome fonts for you to use on Fonto. Yes, Fonto which is um, let's 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 quickly let's quickly take let's quickly go into but before then um, kindly like share this video and also subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel, App Gamers, yes, for more awesome content. And also, don't forget to hit the the notification, the bell icon, for notifications and for you to get up to date on our awesome content on App Gamers. So now let's um, let's without wasting time, let's 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 get to business. So, um. This is a photo editing app called Fonto. And um, at the end of this video, I'm going to I'm going to give you a link in the I'm going to drop a link in the video for you to get the premium Fonto app for Android. Fonto is an Android app for for photo editing. Fonto is an Android app for graphics designs. Yes, because it gives you it gives you a whole it gives you where you can just quickly do some quick gra graphic designs and it comes out real it comes out right. So um, I'm going to drop on the end of this video I'll drop a link for you to for you to download the premium. It's already paid for already handled all of, the, all of that. The premium phone to APK the premium phone to Android app for you to use and also more importantly we're going to drop the link for you to get we already have a font bank I've already gotten a font bank of over a hundred plus fonts for you to use to customize to have to get the best from your graphic designs on phone to so I'm going to drop I'm going to drop the link at the end of this video for you to for you to download the fonts the font bank and um, I implore you for your own good to watch this video to the very end watch this video to the very end because every step of the way you're going to learn something new you're going to pick up something brilliant and it's all for your own good so now let's um, we have our phone to app open right here and the good thing about phone to is that it comes in a grid it comes with default you have the grid patterns so we make which makes it your designs come out more accurate that's more of the reasons why i use phone to and because phone to is one of those android apps is what people don't know is that for you to use you can you can do your you can do professional graphics design on your android phone and um phone is one of those apps that give you the freedom to 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 have your own font bank because the beauty of every graphic design is when it comes to fonting the texture the design of the text the text design you understand and phone tool comes in handy to give you 
a whole lot of an array of fonts to use your own fonts to use so in this video you, um, the benefit of actually watching this video is also you will need to go start downloading or researching for fonts or getting trying to download no we've saved all of you we've saved you all of that trouble um, at the end of this video a link will be placed for you to get your own fonts bank where we've downloaded a whole catch of fonts futuristic fonts classy trendy fonts for you to use in your graphics design to give your text to put life and give your text that beauty and class you understand so um, this is Fonto and um, let's just, just do a little walkthrough to use Fonto actually this Fonto and comes with this grid design and um, let's try something um, let me try when you load on your on the right hand side that's it you're going to see it's going to give you three options when you click the right hand side it's going to give you three options on how you want to load your project or your image do you want to load that when you want to load new image you want to load from images which is if you want to pick from your phone gallery or you want plain images where you just want the background color backgrounds maybe white maybe black maybe green for you to work with or you already had some projects which you were working on and you and you want to you want to go back to those projects and pick from the designs and maybe edit those projects and this is another good thing about phone to also because phone to gives also gives you the freedom it gives you the ability to 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 save your projects to save your work so you, you're working not like you close the app and everything goes while you're working you save while you're working you save you click you save and while you save it's there for you to come back to next time so it's a whole world of possibilities so now let's um let's speak from the options one by one so let's let's go with the images first so now when i click image it's going to take me to my phone gallery where i could pick images to work on yes maybe to like, graphics design so um let me let me let me pick this let me pick this okay now i want to add i want to do a little design here i want to add some text i want to add some text design here so um uh, maybe i want to watermark this so i want to do a write-up here so there is the pen or the pencil there's a pencil sign up there which i'm going to click on and um what caption can I give to this graphics? Um, okay, let's do when you when you think, let's do when you think outside the box. When you think outside the box. Okay. So uh, let me just uh, let me use that. Okay, now we've gotten our text. Now another thing is align. Okay, we've gotten our text. So now let's let's tap into the text. Our uh, text font because our basic priority in this video is the fonting. Yes, what to do with fonting? So we're going to tap this. I've just tapped font right there in the. And you're going to see I have an array of you see there up there you're going to see my fonts these are my own fonts which I after getting my 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 premium phone to app these are my own customized from the fonts I want to work with the fonts I feel are beautiful enough which I think are the best for for my designs and these are the fonts I use and you're going to see these are all my fonts but 
on phone to if i should click fonts these are the fonts that come with phone they are beautiful yes but i want to go a step further i want my text designs to come out even more beautiful these are the font designs for fonto yeah these are the font designs for fonto yeah there are plenty but um because i design graphics professionally i said this might not be might not be stuff and my i might need some more fonts to work with yeah, these are the array of fonts in Fonto. But had I had gone away, I had to get my own fonts. Yes, these are my own fonts. So now, um, if I click here, it's going to take us to the web. Uh, no need. I'm going to come back to that later. I'm going to come back to that later. Yeah. So let's um, let me. Let me just take you directly to. So okay, for the font, if I, uh, if I pick Yahoo, it changes. I pick this watchword, it changes. I pick um, vocal, it changes. So how do we get our own? How do you get your own font back? Yes, in this video, I make it made it easy. I'm going to drop the link, but. Once you get my font bank, how do you install it to work with Fonto on your Android phone? Yes, so that is what this video is all about. How do you get the font, your own font, even after downloading? How do you get it to work? How do you incorporate it to your Fonto app? So, I've already gotten my font bank. So I'm going to minimize this. And I'm going to open my file manager on my Android phone. I'm going to open my file manager. This is my file manager on my Android phone. And I'm going to take you to my storage system. I have storage. I have that's the internal storage and the SD card. And we'll be making use of my SD card use of the SD card that's where my fonts are stored so I have my fonts bank here already which I'm going to give to you uh, these are the more classy I'm going to give this out because are the more very very classy fonts you can also go down look get your own but most of all you will get are all in here this for any any text design which you want to do this font, this array of fonts should take care of your text needs. They are crazy. They are one of the best fonts out there. So um, we already have our fonts here, and the fonts usually come in either .ttf or they come in .rtf. It's either .ttf or .rtf. But basically, what we have here more. The dot t we also have some dot otf we have dot ttf some dot rtf and these are the file name extension for fonts for the fonts it's a global it's a global um, file extension for fonts so um this the my font we check carefully my font folder is already there I've already downloaded it, so it's already there. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to show you what to do. When after copying that, your phone to everything that works with your phone to the phone to engine is actually embedded in your internal storage. Phone to runs is powered. The internal storage powers your phone to. App. so I'm going to come here internal storage and what I have to do next is look for the font folder you're going to see fonts there you see projects you see fonts you see temp now if I open this my fonts are already there the fonts what you saw there my font these are my fonts 
they are the fonts, fonto fonts. Yes, they are the fonto fonts. Yes, sir. All you need to do is paste it here. Although this already what I have is already what I have. So what you do is paste, or is to paste the content. Or better still, let's let's still go back. Let me show you uh, a more direct approach. Let me go back to my SD card. So once you download, because I'm going to what you are going to download, the file you're going to download is going to be fonts just like this, the way it is in the internal storage. So you open this font, you copy all all of this, you copy all of this. You copy all the fonts now selected all and you copy that and you come to your internal storage and you come to font you open the font which might be empty you open which on your own phone if you ha haven't added your own custom fonts you open fonts and you paste all the fonts that you selected from the internal story from where you, from the ones you downloaded you paste it in here you paste it in the font um, folder on phone tool you just paste it in here and it's going to appear here in my fonts on phone tool you're going to see all you copied and pasted Going to, going to appear in my font on phone too. Just as easy as that. Just as easy as that. So just giving you an insight on how to have better graphics design on phone too with more classy fonts to work with. Yes, um, thank you for watching this video. Kindly like this video. Subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a good day and bye.